Hello everyone, I'm back. Um, it's so nice to be back making videos for you. And today, what I thought I'd do is take you inside some of my sketchbooks, which I haven't shown you yet. Um, they're the ones I've been working on for the last few weeks recently, and they're all over the shop. I'm doing all kinds of things, collage, paint, um, messing about with different materials, drawing, corners and spaces in my home. So I just thought I'd show you, I guess, the diversity of things that I'm working on. And I often do that in my art practice. I often have lots of irons in the fire and lots of things I'm interested in. And for me, I think that's totally fine. And it's a really enjoyable aspect of my art practice. So I thought that's what I would do with you today. So recently I've been really loving drawing corners uh, of my house and just kind of still life um, compositions of things in and about my home. And I was thinking about why that is really calling to me and why that's really important to me at the moment. And I think the reason is because about 18 months ago, we had this big flood and we had to move out of our house for six months whilst it dried out and was rebuilt. And in that time, I was living out of a suitcase and I really missed the objects of my everyday, the things that I filled our home with the vases, the rugs, the cushions, the familiar objects which bring me joy and delight in the everyday. And it surprised me that I missed them so much, but it really made me think about a sense of place and a sense of home and how we put our homes together and what it means to us in terms of security and identity and feeling and I think in my sketchbook I just wanted to kind of celebrate being back home and having a home that feels like a reflection of me I guess and I think also um, in the last few years I've lost both my parents and when they died a whole lot of stuff came into my life. Um, so I inherited lots of their vases and ornaments and things like that. Mm. And the intention was that I was going to sort it all out and give it to a charity shop. But what has actually happened <laughs> is that all those things have sort of nestled in with all our things. And I really enjoy that kind of nostalgic connection to the things in my life and I think I'm wanting to explore that in my sketchbook in a in a kind of celebratory happy way I think that's why I'm so drawn to drawing our home at the moment there feels a real sense of anchoring and connection and I don't know, maybe safety and security that comes from having the things that I love in my life. So this is a big sketchbook. It is an A3 um, sketchbook from Dayla Rowney. It's on hardcover. I don't like this page here with all the blurb on it. But anyway, it's quite a good sketchbook because it is big and so a double page spread is like an A2 and this is where I have been drawing the corners of my house. Now my house doesn't actually look like this there's been quite a lot of added colour pattern just a kind of playing about 
and all of these pages are made with ink tense pencils so I start off with the with a very rough sort of wonky outline and then I basically colour it in my style of drawing like this is very kind of graphic I guess very flat I'm not going for a realistic interpretation of anything that's in front of me I'm taking something I'm looking at and I'm using it as a springboard I'm using it as a starting point as something to respond to and I've just been really enjoying playing with the colours the marks so I start off with a pencil let's see if I can get one they're like a little pencil it's like an actual pencil and so it, it goes on like a pencil and then you add water and I'm using these little kind of brush water brushes so it's just a brush and it's filled with water and it sort of turns into an ink so I've been enjoying layering colour exploring shape added pattern just taking corners of my house as a starting point and adding to it and I usually have been drawing these whilst I'm sat watching TV in the evening so I find ink tense pencils are quite good for that because it's not that messy I hope you can hear me, I'm having to lie on the floor because this sketchbook is so big but there's something joyful about that I mean the paper isn't super thick, it's about 160 grams per square metre but it's totally fine and, and I'm just enjoying the expanse So this is the pile of my current sketchbooks and they look quite different. I've been exploring different things and different books and enjoying playing with art materials, trying different things out, lots of irons in the fire, lots of lines of inquiry and that's fine. I don't necessarily need <laughs> or want one of my paintings to look similar to the next or one of my pieces of artwork to look similar to the next but what I do want is everything I make to feel like I made it so I try and really pay attention to the things that are interesting me and fascinating me about my own work I want my own work to feel I guess exciting to me so this book has got a lot of just simple felt tip pen, using a black brush pen, drawing, exploring kind of shapes and vase shapes and ceramic shapes and just really kind of playing about with those. Lots of stripes and pattern and dots and bold geometric and graphic pages I, mean, I, I tend to love combining straight lines with organic shapes so sort of graphic geometrics with more organic fluid shapes so that's one of my sketchbooks that I've got on the go at the moment and the one underneath has got painted it really I've been really meaning to do more painting in my sketchbook um, I've just been 
really wanting to explore more painterly pages for one reason or another I haven't um, so what I'm really hoping this year is to just be a little bit more free and easy with paint so I've just started painting and collaging into this sketchbook and this is acrylic paint and to stop the pages sticking together I've been just using a tiny bit of cold wax medium on a finished page which isn't what it's designed for but it seems to stop the pages sticking so I quite like the effect. So these are just really super quick um, acrylic pa painted pages, so just normal acrylic paint. And you'll see I often kind of repeat things in my sketchbook. I mean that page there looks quite similar to something like this, doesn't it? Which was drawn with pen, and then this one is painted. So, acrylic paint in that sketchbook. And then this one here is, has got some collages made from a couple of old magazines. So I was just cutting up some old magazines. Um, I think it was Homes and Antiques from about four years ago. And seeing what I could do with the shapes I'd cut out. So I didn't plan any of the pages. I just cut out a few things from the magazine. And then when I had a couple of shapes, I'd see if I could arrange them in a way that felt pleasing and exciting to me. And that's what I'm always trying to do. I'm trying to pay attention to what I really like and love and enjoy in my own art making and try to do more of it. So here I'm really enjoying the organic shapes, the negative space. I mean, I'm quite liking that big expanse of white page with real intensity of colour and pattern. Um, and I'm just loving all the different patterns together and the organic kind of explosion of shapes. So these are just stuck in with a, a glue stick, just again whilst watching telly. A lot of <laughs> a lot of my sketchbook stuff happens in the evening because I've had a I've had a big project that I've been working on for the last couple of months. Um, a big series of paintings for a hospital in in the States. So a lot of my sketchbook work has kind of been a love affair on the side. And that's just a <laughs> that's just a random page of shapes that I've been making up. So um so those are collages just from old magazines. And then this here is just a homemade little sketchbook that I've made similar to the way I make sketchbooks in my in my online class, Art Journal Joy, but just a bit bigger. And I have used, now what have I used here? Felt tip pen, watercolour paint, acrylic ink. Just really enjoying marks, lines, kind of fluid, organic shapes. So I've been up to all sorts of things in my sketchbooks at the moment. So there we are, a romp through some of my current sketchbooks, some of my current fascinations, some of my current ways of making art. And I personally love having lots of irons in the fire and lots of things on the go at once. And I find that they inform each other and feed into each other and help me to feel, I guess, excited and interested about what I'm making, not stuck in a rut. So for me, I've really found that experimenting and playing with different mediums, different methods, different techniques, different ways of making art, all just seems to keep me 
interested and excited in what I'm doing. So I think that's what I wanted to leave you with. Um, and I hope there was something in today's video which you found interesting.